Okay, you guys, so I'm mid makeup, but I'm telling you right now, every time I do my eyeliner and I get to this point where it's only the outline, I always want to leave it and then finish it up, like do my mascara, put on my lipstick, you know, finish up everything else and see like how it looks as a whole because I don't know, it's like kind of cute. So a random show that I have been really enjoying lately, and I'm telling you it's random, The Floor on Hulu. I really like game shows, if you guys don't know that about me. I do. I feel like some of the newer ones though are like so cheesy and I just can knock it into it. But something about this one is actually, I don't know, kind of nice to watch. So if you guys like game shows and you like trivia type style, definitely watch it. Okay, you guys, I'm about to organize my wax melts. I'm sure you're seeing this and you're thinking, wow, that's a lot, but this is nothing compared to what I had before I moved here. But a lot of these have just like a few in there. So it's like, I need to organize and see which ones like have just a few so, and then like organize them like that so I can use up those over like the full ones. Okay, so these are all the ones that are partially open. So I know to use this drawer first and then these are the ones that aren't opened at all. Okay, you guys, so it is January 25th. I have not done a weigh-in since I last did one for you guys. And I remember I was 513.8 after being depressed and not being back on track. I remember it was 513.8 because I went through a depression and I realized that I eat really bad when I'm depressed. I just like stop caring. So ever since that has happened, I haven't been able to find my footing. So I need to find my footing and get back on track. So the first step to doing that is stepping on the scale. Hello. It's ready. All right, stepping on. 510.4 pounds. 510.4. I was expecting it to be a little worse than that, but I've actually lost 3.8 pounds. So it just goes to show that like, since I've been out of that like depression, I have not been eating as bad as I was. So that makes me happy. Y'all, I genuinely do not know what this vlog is. There's no rhyme or reason. I don't know what I filmed, what I haven't. Right now I'm currently just trying to find something to wear. The weather has been like rainy in the 40s, 50s. I'm just so glad it's no longer snowing and icy. That was like miserable. So let me choose something to wear. I will be right back. Okay, I found something to wear. Do you guys remember where I wore a dress that was similar to this? Where it had this chest piece and I thought it was supposed to go in the front, but it was actually backwards. Well, don't worry. This is actually the right way. This was like years ago, like 2019. This is my Tory try on haul. So I did a haul about a week ago or so or more of some items that I'm also going to be trying on. So well, let's do this. So here is the dress that I had on. Hello. Anyways, outfit of the day. I honestly love my hair like this. This is like the way that I've been wearing my hair constant. I don't know. I feel like it looks better in person. You know what makes me sad? It's like little stains from the washer and dryer. Not happy about that, but you know, it's fine. So the only book I've read so far in 2024 is November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I give this a three out of five stars. Um, I do like Colleen Hoover, but my favorite is Layla, also Verity, and It Ends With Us. Those are my three favorites so far. This one was okay. There was definitely a shocking twist at the end though, I will say that. Y'all, I am literally obsessed with these slippers and I think I'm gonna get the black pair as well and I'm gonna surprise my mom and get her a pair and we're gonna be matching. Okay, I know I'm not the only one who orders something and forgets what it is. I've ordered a few things lately. So, Amazon, what is in here? Do you guys remember when I Stab myself with a knife and had to get stitches. I remember. I just got done crying. I stabbed myself. And I've never. Like I get little cuts or whatever. 
but I was opening an avocado. You guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. It's the seed. <laughs> like, I have never in my life done something like this. We have this. to go to Walmart and get her some but I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap, but like, she wants to eat first. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited. Wait a ding mini. Okay, so I actually just cleaned in the washer and dryer, obviously. I just cleaned my bathroom mat because it's a white one. And white tends to get dirty really easily, but it doesn't stain or anything. So I actually got a new bathroom mat. So I'll show you the one I have now versus the new one. But I also got some sheets, but I'm really confused why they're packaged like this. I've never seen anything like it. So this might be weird, but <laughs> I got sheets for the couch because I do have two friends, very dear, dear friends to me. Um, they're actually coming to visit me and I don't have an extra room. I don't have an extra bed. So they're gonna have to sleep on the couch. <laughs> so I was gonna put a sheet down when they're sleeping. Do people do that? I don't know. These, this actually isn't the sheets at all. Um, I thought it was. I forgot that I also ordered gray washcloths. They're actually washcloths. And why it came like this, I'll never know. But wow, these are soft and nice. Why did I think that this was the sheets? I did get the sheets in this same exact color. So I guess that's what I thought. Plus on here, it says the word luxury. I literally thought there were luxury sheets, but I guess these are luxury washcloths. Okay, never mind then. So where are the sheets? Because they ain't in this box. That's okay, I guess they're gonna be here tomorrow or something. My friends aren't actually coming for like another week, but the fact that they're coming to visit me, oh my God. We have all been through so much. They have literally seen me at my worst. They're for me through so many situations. And I just never imagined that they would like come visit me because I've lived so far away from them. Oh my God, it's just so sweet. Okay, let's go get my bathroom mat out of the dryer. Okay, so this is the one I have now, which is white. Very, very nice white. Okay. So that's the one that I've always had. Just goes right there. But the new one, the new, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm gonna put this one down. Oh, you guys can literally see what it says. Okay, so. I'm gonna put this one down instead. Oh, I'm obsessed. It says get naked. I think it's so freaking adorable. I love it. So I'm not gonna get rid of this one by no means, but it's definitely gonna be put away for a bit because this one's gonna stay out. Okay, you guys, so it's about that time where I get my nails done. They've grown out so much. So here is before. Here is my after. Look at that pretty pink. Oh, don't mind the siren. I hope everyone's okay. Okay, you guys, so I got another package from Amazon today. So let's open it. Look at this cute little baby right here. Okay, so it looks like my sheets came in this package. And then over here are these slippers for me and my mom. We have matching ones. It's literally just the white slippers, but they're black and the smiley face is on there as well. So that is my little haul. Guys, this has got to be the funniest clip I've seen on YouTube in a long time. And if you know, you know, then you know, you know, but this, <laughs> I just got done laughing for a good solid 10 minutes. So. Thank you. That was funny. That was good stuff. No one said I'm ripped. I'm a fat. I'm out of here. I'm out of here.
Y'all, it happened. I'm now sporting the black pair. I love these. They're so cute and comfy. Y'all, it might be time that I clean my mirror. Just saying. All right, sweeties. You have to get off the bed. Mama's cleaning the bedding today. So I just tried this Starbucks Frappuccino chilled coffee drink and caramel. Normally I get the vanilla. This is not worth 300 calories and this was almost $5. $5 for this guy. Okay you guys, so I just got home and someone sent me a picture of someone seeing me at the laundromat and like taking a picture and posting it online. So I get recognized a lot in public. I do have a smaller channel, but I really think since so many other channels also talk about me that I'm recognized from also other channels. Um, so yeah, it's just something that happens and something that also happens is like people taking photos with me or of me without my knowledge and it doesn't bother me as long as it's not like a stalker situation. Like if you see me in public and you're too shy to come up to me, but you all, you want to take a photo of me, I really don't care. I don't. I love when you guys come up to me and want to take a picture with me. You guys are always like literally so amazing, but it's always the people who take a photo of me without coming up to me. Those are the ones that are always like the haters, I think, because it's always something like rude is said about the photo when it's posted or whatever. So like, I don't know who posts it. I don't care who posted it, but a lot of people are seeing it and people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize Amberlynn was this big. You guys, I've been telling you from the jump that I am over 500 pounds. I have shown my body multiple times on camera, hundreds of times on camera, I am big. Like it's something that I know, it's something that's obvious to me, but y'all seeing that photo was also like, Ugh. It was kind of hard for me to see because it's like, it's not an angle that I see of myself, like if ever, you know, like I'm sitting down in the laundromat and it's like, while I'm sitting there, like I know that I'm bigger. Like that's obviously something that is in my head all the time, but I don't realize like what I look like, like as I'm sitting there, like until I see a photo like that. So I think this is one of them situations where it's like, I'm glad I saw this photo because it kind of lights a fire under me because it's like, I don't want to like look like that anymore. And that's okay for me to say about myself, but like to see and hear like all the fat shaming around that photo is just like, I don't know, it hurts because it's just like being picked apart. Like what you look like, it's just like, dang, really? Is that like society? Like, is that humanity? Like, is that really how we're gonna be like as adults and stuff. I know there's a lot of probably teenagers doing it too, but like adults, like I just feel like we're better than that. Y'all, I'm actually getting ready to go take a shower and then get in bed, but I sent my mom that picture and she was like, why do you look so sad? And I was like, I don't know, genuinely I don't because I'm like happy and I was feeling happy like while at the laundromat. So then I started thinking, I don't have resting bitch face. I have resting sad face when I'm not even sad. That's so unfair. So yeah, I have to go wash this head of hair. I do wanna say for this week, I am gonna do like a different type of schedule and just see how it works for me. It's Monday for you guys. It's like a weekly vlog. And then Wednesday, I think I'm gonna do like a Wednesday weigh in. And then Friday, like a what I ate today type deal type situation. Um, I remember I did that schedule for a little bit, a couple years ago, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna give it a go again. I don't know. I'm just trying to see what I like, what I want, what I wanna do. I just have so much freedom with my channel that it's just like, I can't make up my mind. Anyways, I'm gonna go though. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.